Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm gonna to start off with my canvas already painted a, a raw sienna color. And uh, and I've already got my outline sketched on and you cannot see that very well, but it's on there. Uh, and if you want this outline, you can go to my Facebook page in the link below and you can print that off for free, the uh, traceable and the reference photo. So I've sped this up right here just because all I'm doing right now is blocking in color, uh, just the base color of everything. Um, and these can be whatever colors you want. You know, you can change the colors of the clothes or, or even the background. Um, but this is just the base, the base color of everything. And I'm just using a synthetic brush. Um, this one is a round brush. Sometimes I switch to a flat brush, just whatever's convenient to use. Uh, and this is acrylic paint. And on my canvas, I've got white, yellow, green, phthalo blue, red, raw umber, and black. But again, uh, you can use whatever colors you want. I kind of chose some uh, bold colors like the primary colors just because I wanted this painting to be bold but you can tone it down a bit if you want and use different colors with this raw sienna color in the background it, it allows me to not have to paint everything so um, like the color of the cabinets will be mostly the raw sienna color so I just have to put some low lights and highlights on those. Okay, so now I've slowed it down because I've got my base colors in and now I want to start putting in some, some highlights and shadows. So with kind of an orange mixture, I'm highlighting the bowl because my bowl is red and orange makes a good highlight color for red and so does pink and now with red and black I'm going to put in the depth in the bowl If you like this video, please hit that like button. Okay, so now I'm putting in some darker greens. So it's a green and black mixture um, where the pants would be shaded. If, you're, if you make your pants a different color, then typically you can just add black to whatever color it is and it'll add a shadow color to it. And then here's a little shadow where the where it separates the legs. And all this will show up better when the highlights get in there, but it's just it's a process. And this painting is a little more detailed than than I normally do, but I really like it. So this is kind of a middle tone, um, kind of the main shade of the pants. So you've got that, this green, and then, and you've got that darker shadow color, and then we'll go back with highlights with the lighter green. Now on the right edge of the apron, um, I'm putting a really bright highlight because I've got my, my light is coming from the right hand side. In fact, in my 
uh, in the traceable, there's a window over there in the upper right hand corner. Um, I chose not to put the window in, but if you want to, you can, and that's where the light's coming from. So when you're highlighting, just keep that in mind. So I'm starting to highlight the skin a little bit. And this is kind of watered down white. It's not, I'm not putting bright white on there yet. Now this is the top of the right arm. I've made it like she's reaching back there for something, but you can't see what she's reaching for because the bowl is in the way. Um, so you can just leave that to everybody's imagination. But um, So the only arm that shows is the one that's holding the bowl. There are several steps to this painting um, because it is more detailed, but that makes it more rewarding when you get finished. And I'm still using that synthetic round brush. Um, I think that's the only one I've used so far. I'm just very loosely brushing in some strokes into this curtain back here. Now this is watered down brown and so I'm just putting a light shadow underneath the, the lip of the counter. And then just in, here and there, in my mind, there's going to be cast shadows against the counter. I mean, against the cabinet. And there's also going to be highlights. It's just another shadow and and then I want to put some depth into the uh, the curtain creases. Now I'm going to put another highlight on the pants. Because again, my light is coming from the right hand side, so 
um, this edge needs to be fairly bright. This white is going um, on the top of that gray, on the top edge, and the left um, and the right edge. I mean, and then this dark shadow is going on the left edge and the bottom of the handles. So now I'm going to start putting some highlights in the hair and I'll be using several different highlights in this but you know you might want a different hair color so just come up with one of your own but um, you always want to start with a darker color and then put your highlights on top of it to um, to make it the color you want. So now I'm putting a shadow on the left hand side of the arm. And a little on the face. And I will come back and put other highlights on the skin areas. So this little shadow is just going underneath and right beside the apron right there. And then the bottom side of the arm. And see how get, this gives it dimension and shape. So your lights and darks are important. You, um, colors are not necessarily so important. You can change those up, but you really need darks in the dark areas and light in the light areas, or it's just going to look flat. And some more tones in the skin.
Now, obviously, I am rinsing my brush between most of my colors unless I want to mix them. So, I don't show you that boring step, but it's kind of obvious. If you need to, if you need to rinse your brush, then rinse it. This is the bottom side of that right arm. I'm going to start on the the highlights and lowlights in the chair. Give it some dimension. Hopefully you've printed off the reference photo and maybe can look at it while you're painting it so that um, you can kind of see these details. It's, I know it's probably hard to see on the monitor. This painting is not hard, but it is. It does take longer than than the ones I typically do. It's more detailed, but um, but it's not hard at all to paint. Now this is watered down brown and I'm just putting a little cast shadow um, down here on the chair by her feet. Just 
This is still watered down. Now, I told you I wanted this painting to be bold, and so the really, really bright white helps with that effect. But you can't start out with that. You kind of got, got to build up to it. Now I've switched to a small, um, just a very small flat brush, and I'm just cleaning things up a little bit. So I'm just looking around and seeing what needs maybe reshaped or, or just cleaned up a little.
And I decided to change the hair a little bit right here. Kind of change the shape of the bangs. And softening it up a little so that it's not uh, real prominent. Now here I'm just putting in a very faint indication of a floor. highlight on the handles and that is it guys hope y'all enjoyed this thank you so much for watching have a great day 
and God bless you.